So today we're going to relearn a smart com onto a new Wi-Fi. So what we're first going to do is take the lid off the smart com. We're going to use our screwdriver, uh, and there's a screw under here. We're going to loosen that off. Now as the lid comes off, the alarm will go off. We're going to just type in our code. Should stop the uh, alarm going off. Uh, and then what we're going to need to do is there's a sticker on the inside of the smart com that has a passphrase on. So we're going to take a picture of that so that we've got that. And then the next thing we're going to do is we need to put the smart com into learn mode. So there's a yellow button here and we're going to press and hold that for about five seconds and then we're going to let go and then what we should see is the light here starts to flash. That light basically means that the smart com is looking for Wi-Fi. So now we need to go to a mobile phone and do the next bit. So now we're going to go to our mobile phone. Um, on the phone, we're going to go into settings and search for uh, Wi-Fi's. Uh, when you go into Wi-Fi under available networks, you should see one that says SmartCom. So we're then going to click on the SmartCom one. And we're going to take our picture that we took earlier of the um, sticker from the SmartCom. And as you can see, you've got the passphrase. So what we're going to do is we're going to type the passphrase into the SmartCom password. Now it's always, every letter is always a capital. So this one is R O K U M W I I T P. And then we're going to connect on there. Now once that's connected, it can sometimes come up on your phone stating that the smart com has no internet like this. So it says internet's not available, this is fine. Just connect, uh, just say always connect or connect only this time. Either of them just don't click disconnect. So from here, we're then going to need to go to a internet page. So once we're on an internet page, we need to type in uh, this address. So it's going to be 192.168.2.1. Then we're going to click Go. Now this is then going to take us to the smart com. So we're now connected to the smart com. So the smart com is now telling us here what Wi-Fi's it can see. So in this list here, you should see the address of your home Wi-Fi. So we're going to pick the one that is our Wi-Fi. And I always click show password so we can just see the password that we're typing in. And then what we're going to do is you're going to then type in the password to your internet. So I'm just going to type a password in here. And then once you've typed your password for your internet in and you've made sure it's correct, you're going to press connect. And you will then disconnect and just say you'll see this screen here. Now once you've connected the smart com on your phone to your Wi-Fi, you should see that the second light in from the left has now gone completely solid. Now this light going solid means that the smart com is now connected to your Wi-Fi. If this light is still flashing or it's uh, not gone solid, then basically it's not been successful and you need to try the steps again and try and reconnect it. It might be that you've typed your password in wrong when you entered it. So once that light is solid, we're going to put the lid back on. We're going to tighten the screw at the bottom. And then on the keypad, we're going to type our code in twice. So that's once. Type your code in again. And then we're going to hit the reset, which is up the top left. That will then log out, and it will say Hughes with the time and the date on the keypad. 
and you know everything's okay.